celebrating 15 years of possibility. Pilot Flying J and Halloran Hilton Hill present Anything is Possible. Today's guest, Gary Christian, part two. Welcome to Anything is Possible. These are great stories of possibility. And in 15 seasons, this may be one of the greatest. Gary Christian's journey from deep hurt to hate to healing is a testament to possibility. This week, Gary Christian part two. Gary's simple prayer had always been, God protect the people I love. When that didn't happen, his faith failed. It was his Peter moment. You know, Peter denied Christ three times. Christ told him he was going to deny him, and he said, no, I'm not. <laughs> and he did. I never denied God. I just didn't know how. I got on my knees every day of my life, Alan, and prayed before I'd go to work. I didn't ask him to help me sell cars. I didn't ask him for anything. I asked him to protect my children. They were my life. And when that happened, I lost faith. Uh, I, I lost my trust. The one thing, the most important thing to me in my life, was one of them was gone. And I was angry. And I was hurt and I felt let down. And Peter denied Christ. Christ dies and Christ came back alive. He saw Mary, right? One of the first things Christ did was go back to Peter. And in that pastor's words, he restored him. Put him back. Said, I'm going to build something on you. He put him right back where he was. And he was a leader of the church. Yeah. And his sermon Sunday was about being restored. Man, I'm the president of a dead gum <laughs> motorcycle club. Yes, sir. I have helped people. And when I mean I have helped people, I put people in people's houses with a shotgun so that her, the wife, and the kids could sleep. Right. I've lived in, 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 a, in a different world. It's been an alternate universe. Because I, I know you didn't give up your faith, I know you didn't deny God, but that day we're standing in your kitchen and I asked you about God, and this is in proximity to the event, you basically you were silence. pressing pause. The same silence you heard from God, I heard from you. Right, you press pause. But something happened going to church because you told me these chaplains, they normally prayed, you're in your big bad Harley. You end up at the the graveside. Well, Sunday was was um, two Sundays ago was Shannon's birthday, and then that was the day we started the club. And uh, the club has evolved, and and I got some big bad boys in it, and they all know God. I was brought to, to, to that Sunday. And when I left church, I had already told Chap, our chaplain, that I was uh, going to let him lead prayer. It was our anniversary ride. We ride from the cemetery to the memorial, 
then to El Chico's, and eat. Yeah, that was Shannon's favorite restaurant. When I looked up at Chap to ask him to lead us in a prayer, I couldn't say anything. I couldn't even get Chap out. I'm looking at him like he never would look at me. And for 10 years, I talked to Shannon. I talked to my mother, my daddy. They're all in heaven. I was talking to everybody up there. I wish that I had a, a guest list or, you know, I got to call them by name. Anybody that would listen to me in heaven, except Christ. For 10 years. That is a long time. Yeah, 10 years is a long time. How long does it take to heal? It takes as long as it takes, but 10 years can be transformed in one moment at a cemetery. Up next, Gary Christian has his moment. Possibility powered by Pilot Flying J, Covenant Health, Home Federal, and the Knoxville News Sentinel. Coming up. I turned my back on him. But he didn't leave. Gary Christian didn't pray. He couldn't pray. But could you, given all he'd lost? This is Haller and Hilton Hill. You're watching Anything is Possible. Gary really struggled to find his faith, but he did. And all at once, his soul was unblocked, his prayers were unlocked at his daughter's graveside. All of a sudden, I looked at Chap and I said, um, Brother, I'm sorry, but I'm finna steal your thunder. I had no plans. But I knelt down on that grave and I asked him to restore me. And he did. While I'm praying, the first thing I heard, felt, was Lori's hand on my shoulder. And then my VP and my chaplain. kneel down beside me. I'm looking at the headstone. And I see feet. Black Harley riding boots. Some of them big. And they all gathered around me. What was cool was I realized riding down I-40, nothing changed. Shepherds, riding clubs, goals, and mission, and and direction did not change. We've been on the right path. 
he's been leading me all along. I turned my back on him. But he didn't leave. And I started thinking, look at what he's given you since she left. I got the coolest grandkids in the world. I mean, the coolest. <laughs> yeah. They can both swing a golf club. Some a people could say bat. that, but I saw it with my own eyes. The coolest yeah. thing in the world. They are, they're unbelievable. I got a son Everybody's always talking about how do you do it, how does he do it. I couldn't do what he does. He's amazing. He is all in it big time, and he's a good man. He's a Christian. He's a good father. He's a good husband. Good friend. And he rides up and down that highway trying to make a difference. I started a motorcycle club out of revenge. And all they do is good. Is good. <laughs> that is so amazing. I have a wife that is full of energy. I told, Full you, of light. I told you when I came to the house, I just kept saying the word light, 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 light. It's like a whole new world. It was light. She's got two kids. That's an experience, you know, raising two kids and and then having having two that one just graduated from high school a couple of years ago and the other one just last year. And, and uh, reliving those experiences is, is interesting. Um, great kids. She raised them by herself. And uh, she was the first, the first one. When I knelt down on that grave, she was the first one I felt. When we stood up, I had two members, new members I had to swear in. And right before I started to do it, my VP, I think it was my VP, I, when I stood up, I said, what are y'all doing? And he said, uh, I said, where, where, where are all y'all, what are y'all doing? He said, I told you, where you ride, we ride. Coming up. I got a family that was bigger than I had. This is Anything is Possible. I'm Halloran Hilton Hill. Gary lost his precious daughter, Shannon, and her dear friend, Chris, so we know what he lost. But what about what he gained? Gary found life after. When I think about my family, My daughter-in-law, a sweet girl, she reminds me of Shannon. I guess I've told her now, never told her that. I got a family 
that was bigger than I had, numbers-wise. I got a club that people have tried to tear down. People have tried to destroy that has never blinked an eye. Every time we are up against that kind of thing, the end result is we're bigger and we're stronger than we used to be. Opportunities to help people are coming more often. I've got a church that I've been to three times and has granted us whatever assistance that we need. Danny Kimsey asked the preacher a question. He said, I told you, I don't know how to be more clear. Where y'all are concerned, if you ask the question, the answer is yes. We will do anything we can to help y'all. To me, this represents such a remarkable possibility. I mean, our show is called Anything is Possible, right? And to me, your story is, it's incredible to begin with, but watching it unfold over the years has been incredible because um, my, my best buddy, John Wright, I lost his daughter last year. And we were talking about you at dinner last night. And he said, he has every right to feel everything he feels and more. Nobody can tell you how you were supposed to process this, how quickly you were supposed to process this, what you were supposed to do with it. The only thing I didn't want was, I didn't want the evil that had overtaken them to poison and overtake you. That's the only thing I didn't want. I didn't want to tell you how to do it, find God, let's go pray together. I didn't want to give you a bunch of cliches. Oh, if you just hold on, brother. People don't know what you experienced. They have no, I don't even have an idea. I just didn't want that darkness to take from you what light your life could have. It's the only thing I didn't want. So you're going through your process. But the first flicker of possibility that I saw was the foundation. You, you wanted to make sure that justice was done. But there was something inside of you. Even then, you started a foundation. I don't think anybody paid attention to that. They saw you doing this, but they didn't pay attention to the fact that in the middle of that, you started a foundation to try to do something good with her life. And that's when I knew, I said, okay. It, the pilot light is on, right? But then to watch you go and to watch you grow and to watch you come here today and you just looked at me and you said, I knelt down at my daughter's grave and I talked to the one that I hadn't talked to in 10 years and you asked him to restore <laughs> you, one, two, your motorcycle club was around. <laughs> These are not people you play with. <laughs> They're, they're, they're always around. They're official. Mm -hmm. But guess what you've ended up doing for a decade? Helping people. Bringing light where darkness is. Helping people escape what could happen to them. And that trend has been toward the light. And then when I was there with your grandsons and you, and you know, in full disclosure, I'm a, a part of their organization as well, just to see you smile again has been an incredible thing. So I thank you for being here today Absolutely. to share the possibility of your smile. In 60 seconds, could you tell me what's next? What do you want for your future now? 
we're um, in 60 seconds. Yes. Um, I have um, been talked to um, about um, in the near future documentary films, um, um, a book that I said I would never do. But our, our future, the Shepherd's future, mine and Lori's future, is to go forward and keep helping people and to spread the word and, and get the message of my story, not anybody else's, mine, as a father to as many people as we can get it to. And to never let your children leave your house without telling you you love them. And never miss an opportunity to support them. And for a father to make sure that their children have enough skill sets to have a chance to, have a chance. to go home. If Gary Christian can turn the page and turn his pain into purpose, that's your proof that anything, and I do mean anything, is possible. Remember that, anything is possible. I'm Halloran Hilton Hill. See you next time.